Shalom, shalom. I'm going to start by giving our praises to the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashem. Ba'ashem, Ba'ashem, And, um, my name is Benjamin Park from the Camp Prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. I'm going to start by giving uh, our salaki. I want to uh, get a double honest. I was an imposter. It's a great millstone. Peace and blessings to the whole for elect. You know, and uh, I basically want to get into a short class, you know, on uh, this uh, whole chapter right here, Sirach chapter 2. You know, I'm just going to read the whole chapter. It's only 18 verse verses. And I'm trying to uh, go through it fast, too. But, um, yeah, man, you know, the spirit hopping to me, hopping to me, you know, to be able to do this class on this, this topic, man, because I was reading it. And I was like, damn, man, you know, this is a beautiful chapter. You know, Ecclesiasticus and, you know, whole is a beautiful book, man, you know. But, you know, this particularly, you know, this, this chapter, you know, it, um, it was really, you know, edifying, you know, and a faith, faith booster to me, man. All right. Well, um, go ahead and start. This is Rock to the tomb, verse 1. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. All right, man. And we all know this this uh, this uh precept right here. You know, like I said, if thou come to serve the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh we must prepare our soul for temptation. You know, to be highly tempted, highly tested. You know, your faith being constantly tested. You know, the way you go about, you know, in this truth. Being, you know, if you really, you know what this thing is about or not, you know, all that's being tested, man. When you when you come to serve the Lord, man. You know, when you come, you know, and um, get this living waters, you know, this uh, this truth. You know, you start doing it holy. You know, what I'm saying diligently. You must prepare your your uh, your soul, you know, for the temptation that comes with it, man. All right, because it uh, that means you know a lot more demons, you know, a lot of demons start looking at you, you know, start noticing you more once you get this truth, man. All right, I start tempting you, you know, saying start chastening you, all types of shit, you know, to test your faith, man. And really, it's the Lord, you know, what I'm saying that to, to, to test your faith to see, you know, if you really, you know, know what this know what this truth is about. All right. This is uh, verse two. To set thy heart aright and constantly endure, and make not haste in the time in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. End. All right. So, you know, we gotta set our heart aright, you know, and constantly endure to the hell, you know, the constant chastisement we catch, man. You know, because um, that's that's a part of the temptations, man. You know, that's a part of this truth. You know, you're going to catch hell, man. You're going to catch chast You're going to get chastised, man. You're going to catch afflictions. See, this is just to build you, your character, your spirit, you know, you as a man in this truth, man. All right? And the Lord, you know, the Lord warned us, you know, the Lord warned, you, uh, warned us about it before, um, you know, when, when you come to follow him, you know, when he said, prepare thy soul for temptation, he was warning you, man. All right? This is a warning, man. You know, you got to prepare your soul for temptation. If you want to come, you want to do this work, you want to do this truth, you know what I'm saying? You want to uh, be diligent, you want to strive in this truth, you got to prepare your soul to be tempted. You got to prepare your soul to be able to catch hell. You got to prepare yourself to be able to be willing to catch hell in this thing, man. All right? All of us brothers catch hell, you know? All of us brothers catch hell. We all go through it, man. And that's just a part of being in this truth. You'll catch hell, man. You know, you're going to be tempted. You know, demons are going to be plaguing you, plaguing your mind, all types of things. Because, you know, like I said, a lot of these things, you know, are looking out for you. Because now you got this truth. Now you understand that. Now you understand the truth, man. Now you got the gospel, the good news. You know, now you got the spirit on you, man. All right. Now you're spiritually alive, man. All right? You know, you're spiritually alive. And, um, he's, uh, that, that, that's what happens when you get this truth, man. You're spiritually alive. You know, you got a lot of demons that's trying to, you know, take you back to the dead, man. You know, you got a lot of 
hell that's going to uh, chastisement to test your faith. You know what I'm saying? And only the we- only the weak, you know, will fall to it, man. You know, the strong going to be able to endure. You know, strong will be able to endure. It says, make not haste in the time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. You know, so you got to cleave unto the Lord and depart not away. You know, so you can be in- increased at, the, at your last end, man. You know, it says, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. All right, so whatever is brought upon you, you know, take cheerfully, you know, and, and uh, be patient, man. All right. So all the hell you catch, all the chastisement, the temptation you go through, you got to take it cheerfully, man. You got to take it cheerfully. You know what I'm saying? And being patient, you know, suffering, you know, when you're changed to a low estate, when you, you know, when you feel low, you know, in the spirit, low, you know, uh, in this world, man, you know, you catch a hell of hell, man. You just like, damn, man, what the fuck? Why am I going through all this shit? You know, it, it, it been times like that for brothers, man. You know, where they never caught so much hell like this before. It's just like, damn. You know, it's like, damn, I'm, I'm catching hell. You know what I'm saying? Brother countenance starting to uh, go low. You know, you can tell by the brother countenance. He's just been catching a hell of, you know, hell of afflictions, man. All right. You know. And some brothers are so strong, strong enough to be able to hide it, man. But really, you know, inside, you know, they catching them a lot of hell. You know, they going through a lot of shit, man. It says, for gold is tried in the fire, an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him and he will help thee. So I get a recording turned off. But uh, I bring back verse five. It says, for gold is tried in the fire, an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. All right, so, you know, gold is tried in the fire, you know, and all the impurities are, you know, it, it burnt out of that gold, you know. And it says, so it's comparing it to an acceptable, acceptable man, you know, of the Lord in the furnace of adversity, man, you know. So like I said, man, you ain't coming this truth, you know, you're going to catch hell. Okay, you're going to be tempted, you know, all types of things, chastisement, afflictions, you know, you're going to be getting it, man. You know, that's the part of this truth, you know, and um, <clears throat> only the only the only the strong man, acceptable man of the Lord will be able to, you know, endure through it, man. You know, a lot of these guys are going to, you know, bug out, you know, for something as little as order, man. You know, a lot of dudes have pride. You know, so when order is established, when you come into this truth, a lot of brothers can't handle shit like that, man. All right? And that that alone can take a brother out. That alone can, you know, you know, uh, <clears throat> have have that dude fall, fail like his faith, man. You know? That can be his falling away, man. Something as little as order. It says, verse 6, believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright, and he and trust in him. All right, so you have faith, you know. You pray, you ask the Lord for help. You know, the Lord going got the Lord got you, man. All right, the Lord always gonna get you through the things He put you through, man. You know, He put you through a certain type of hell. He always gonna have a solution for you to get out of it, man. He's always gonna make a way for you to get out of it. And the reason He's giving it to you because you know you're, you know you're able to, you know, withstand it. You know. <clears throat> you know, you give each each and every brother a portion of, you know, afflictions of something they can handle, man. All right? Something you can handle. It says, um... God says, He will help thee, order thy way aright, and trust in Him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for His mercy. Mm. Go not aside lest ye fall. Damn, man. You know, so it says, Ye that fear the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Wait for his mercy. And if you truly fear the Lord, if you truly have faith in the Lord, man, you're going to wait for the Lord's mercy, man. You're going to wait for the Lord to come. You know, you know you're going to be, you know, 
do your due diligence, do what you can in this truth to endure and wait for the Lord, man. All right? Because you know what the Lord's coming back with. All right? And you want to be on the Lord's good side. You want to be on the Lord's side when he come back. It says, ye that fear the Lord, believe in him, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. Mm. All right? So if you, you know, ye that fear the Lord, that truly fear the Lord, Lord believe, you know, and have faith in the Lord, and your your reward will, shall not fail, man. Your salvation, you know, is not going to fail. You, know, you being saved, you getting turned to that eternal life, that's not going to fail, man. That's our reward, man. Lord, Lord's going to re reward his man, his elect, you know, with a special reward, man. You know, now every, all of Israel <clears throat> and Jake, you know, they, they're going to have that kingdom, man. They're going to have everlasting life and stuff. But the Lord's man, you know, they're going to have their, you know, a much, you know, better reward, man. All right. You know, on the higher level type of reward. And that's what we're seeking for, man. It says, verse 9, Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. You know what I'm saying? So ye that fear the Lord, you know, you got to hope for good, man. You know, your hope should be, you know, to be able to make it through Jacob's trouble, to be able to make it through the hell that, um, that's that's to come, man. To be able to be saved, man. A lot of brothers don't have hope in that. A lot of brothers don't have faith in that, man. A lot of brothers don't think, think they're going to be able to make make it through Jacob's trouble, man, all right, and if you think like that, you got to pray, you got to ask of the Lord, man, all right, you got to ask of the Lord to restore your faith, you know, or give you more faith, man, or give you faith at all, because, you know, you probably don't have that much faith, you know, you probably have that little bit of faith, which is what's keeping you in the truth, and that little bit of fear, you know what I'm saying, but you always need more fear, you always need more faith, man, all right, that alone motivates you to keep going and keep enduring for the Lord, man. You know, that's why it says, ye that fear the Lord. All right. If you don't, if you understand, you don't fear the Lord, man, this ain't for you. Only way you, you come into, the, you come into this truth <clears throat> and you strive in this truth is if you fear the Lord. If you don't fear the Lord, man, you're going to be slacking. You ain't going to be doing shit. You're going to be sitting on your ass. You know, you ain't going to really give a fuck about the truth, man. All right. But man, that fear the Lord, you know, have faith in the Lord and believe in the Lord, you know, we hope for good, man. We hope for everlasting joy and mercy. That's what we. That's what we're fighting for, man. That's what we, the one, the reward we're fighting for, man. You know, <clears throat> we hoping for the good, man. You know, we don't meditate too much on the bad, but on the good, man. You know, that's what gospel means. Good news, man. This is good news for us, man. To be able to get this truth and you understand, you you know. You, you obtain this truth, man. It's good news. You know what I'm saying? Not all Jake can copy. Not all Jake can comprehend it. But you comprehending it and understanding that this is good news, man. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it, it will take you a far way in this walk, man. All right. Not a lot of Jake can comprehend this truth. You know what I'm saying? Or even you know put thought you know into this truth. You know because it's not for him, man. But for you to obtain this good this good news, you know, the Lord's giving you opportunity to be saved, man. All right. Now, verse 10 it says, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that it called upon him? All right. <clears throat> So, you know, look in the generations of the old, you know, old stories, man. You know, in the scriptures, old stories, man. You know, uh, with, you know, great men, you know, great men of the Lord, you know, prophets, you know, that was they ever confounded before, man? Whoever trusted in the Lord was, it says, was, was, and was confounded. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or did or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? You now you can never, you know, you can look throughout this whole book, this whole Bible, man. <clears throat> you know, through, throughout his whole this whole Bible from back back and you know, front and back, man. You know, and you can't find a, a story where the Lord has forsaken his men. Alright. Well the Lord just say, you know. 
fuck it, you know, let them, let them, you know, be killed, you know what I'm saying, you never, you can never find a, st- a, a, a story like that, man, where the Lord just for up, up and forsaken his men that, that trust and have fear, you know, and call upon him, man, you never seen it, uh, you never, you can never find it, it says, uh, <clears throat> verse 11, for the Lord is full of compassion and mercy and long suffering, you know, the Lord's you no know, very long suffering, man. After all the things we've done, you know, the Lord still gave us a chance to be able to come come back into Him and be righteous again, man. It says, and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins, and saveth in the time in time of affliction. All right. It says, woe be to the fearful hearts and the faint hands, and the sinner that goeth both two ways. Woe to him that is faint hearted. For he believed not, therefore shall he not be defended. All right, so, you know, woe to you that's faint-hearted, man. I don't have no faith in the Lord. You fear it. You know what I'm saying? When that time come, you know what I'm saying, and you don't believe in the Lord, you have no faith in the Lord, you ain't going to be defended by the Lord, man. You most likely going to take that MOTB, and the Lord's going to have to, you know, take your ass out. All right? The Lord's going to have to take you out, man. You ain't going to no longer be defended. You know, the Lord's only defending his men. You know, he ain't defending no nigga. You know what I'm saying? No no, no fearful nigga. No, because that's what you is, man. You know, dudes that don't have no faith, that's faint-hearted, that don't truly believe in the Lord. You know what I'm saying? They're just fearful niggas, man. All right? It says, woe unto you that have lost patience. Mm. And what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? So, woe unto you, you know, that have lost, you know, patience, you know, in the Lord. But, like Scripture says, woe unto you that have lost patience, man. You know, you just give up on the truth, man. You tired of it, man. You can't, you can't handle it no more. All right? And that's, that's, that's the weak. You know, the ones that, that have that type of mindset, that do fall, that those are considered the weak, man. All right? And they have lost patience, you know, they have lost trust in the Lord. It says, and what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? So when the Lord comes back, you know, you felt this truth, you lost your patience. You look, you couldn't suffer no more for the Lord. You know, after all the things that the Lord suffered for us, you can't suffer for the Lord. What will you do when the Lord come come to visit you, man? When the Lord comes to visit, you know, what will you do? You know what I'm saying? I know I you know. We all, you know, deep down, we all know, you know, what what you what these guys would do, man. You know, they'd be shitting in their pants. You know, we all know. But uh, it says, <clears throat> They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. And they that love him will always keep his ways. All right? And what is love, man? To be able to keep the Lord's commandments. That's love, man. You know? So if you truly love the, the Lord, man, you're going to be keeping his commandments, law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability, man. And that's what brothers do, man. To the best of our abilities, we keep the Lord's commandments, man. And that's true love. All right? Even in our captivity, even when we're catching hell, even when we're going through it, you know, we uh we still be able to, we're still trying to keep the Lord's law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our abilities, man. All right? Then you got, uh, uh, and, you know, the, even the angels look up to that, man. You know, the angels see that, like, hey, man, you know, they, they're in the flesh, man. They're still, you know, keeping the law, statute, commandments to the best of their ability, you know, uh, catching all this hell and, and, and keeping their trust unto, unto the Lord, man. You know, the, the, even the angels praise that, man. All right? But it says, they that fear the Lord will seek that which is, that which is well, pleasing unto him and they that love him shall be filled with with the law they that fear the lord will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight mm. <laughs> you know so you know they that you know fear the lord you know what i'm saying you, you know we're going to humble ourselves you know prepare our, our hearts our minds you know for this you know for this truth for this for this walk man all right. 
And it says, and humble their souls in his sight. All right, like I said, man, you know, a lot of, a lot of dudes come in this thing and, and they fall from the thing, something as little as order, man. All right, because they're not humble. They're prideful. They still have that ego. You know, they still walk around with that ego, so they can't, you know what I'm saying, they can't, uh, you know, be submissive to order, man. They can't, you know, follow order. All right. So a lot of dudes fall at that. A lot of dudes fell at that. And the next thing you know, they fell in the truth, man. They they, they fall out the truth. They go into all the doctrines and all types of, you know, bullshit. It says, verse 18, saying, we will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of man. For as his majesty is, so is his mercy. All right. So, you know, it says, uh, and we'll humble their souls in his sight, you know saying we will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of the of man. For as his majesty is, so is his mercy, man. You know, so at the end of the day, man, you know, the brothers that, you know, that fear the Lord, you know, do whatever they can to the best of their ability above and beyond, you know, for the Lord, man. You know, that's the, that's the man that the Lord is looking for, man. All right? He ain't looking for you faint-hearted niggas. You know, he looking for brothers that's been that, that, that's, that's ready to, to, to uh to serve him, man. All right, but um, come on, that's all I want to get on that. You know, I try to make it as quick as possible. You know, uh, I want to uh, give all praises to the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem I want to give uh, that was honestly, I was an apostle, great millstone once again, peace and blessings to the whole elect. You know, I hope I was edified. Shalom.